All right, as he looks for praying mantids, which, there's one here, there's one up there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, they're, they're all over the place. Good morning. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Say, I'm gonna miss you. School's over. Yep, school's over. Are you happy about that? You're not happy about that. You miss school? Awesome, that's what I wanna see. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, bud. High fives. I love you. Man, I'll tell you, it's difficult for me. It's really hard for Phoenix, too, being so divided between two parents. But anyway, he's been dropped off. Um, it was actually kind of a rough morning this morning because he woke up and just didn't want to leave. Ooh, speed trap. Oh, he got somebody. Oh, ha, ha. I don't think they should have speed traps. They're too distracting. See how distracted I was? So we're headed off to my job, and yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I think is when I did. I felt that it was kind of interesting to share with you guys, like, my to-do. Take exit 127 from Washington 512 East. Always interrupting. Always interrupting. Um, I thought it was kind of interesting to share with you guys my to-do list and, and what I did. So today, I'm listing everything I do. I'm going to try and remember to list, to write down everything I do. Just so that, because I told you guys. Then keep right at the fork. Are we done? Okay. So <laughs> I've told you guys before that um, I'm always busy all keep day. Right oh my gosh! Oh, hold on. You need to just shush. There. I just put her on terminal ignore. Awesome. What was I saying? Ah, I remember what I was saying. I tell you guys all the time that it was such a busy day, and I'm always busy, and I'm always doing something. And I mean, that's, there's nothing further from the truth than that. So I know like some people will, you know, text message me, email me, um, you know, something like that. And it's hard to take care of all the social medias, including everything for my job, which actually I, I didn't list today, but every morning I will start by checking emails and text messages and getting back to people. Um, sometimes if I know that I need to remember to get back to somebody, um, I will put it into my to-do list just so I don't forget. But uh, yeah, always busy. Always, always, always busy. Go, 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 go. No downtime. At all. I'm going to rant for a second, I think. Because even at the end of the night, a lot of you guys will have downtime. You like sit down, watch TV, enjoy a movie sit down after dinner, take a nap, whatever. No, I typically don't do that. I will go from my day to getting done what I can't get done during my day, dishes, straightening thing up, laundry, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then go into computer, social medias, and editing every day. No days off. No days off. So nobody can really scream at me when I start talking about Patreon and we appreciate your support and you know thumbs up and commenting and liking the videos. That stuff's free. And then also, um, you know, like I've been uh, mentioning with the uh, the Robin Hood, that helps out too because every time you guys sign up and get a free stock, it's totally free for you. I get a free stock too, and that helps us out. So I appreciate you guys helping us out to help support what I do every single day for almost like 40 cents an hour, something like that. Okay, okay, I'm done rambling. I'm so done rambling, you guys don't wanna hear that. So you get caught up in life and some things that you used to keep tabs on you kind of forget. Ice Road Truckers, you guys know that I, I used to watch that show all the time and I haven't heard anything about it recently and come to find out, not this year, but I think the year before last year? Season 11, episode 10, aired on November 9th of 2017. So there's no Ice Road Truckers for all of 2018, last year. 
and half of this year has already gone by, and uh, but whatever. Um, uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, IRT, is it was a I liked it. It was a good reality show, um, and uh, we know that uh, one of the truckers passed away, not in related in relation to the show, but uh, in a uh, plane crash. And they, they ended the series, which I'm not sure if they knew at the time that this was going to be the series uh, finale. But uh, they ended the series on a really good note with his son taking over his job uh, at the company that he worked for. So that was kind of neat to see. So anyway, that's what I've been doing along with paperwork. And I'll give you guys the lowdown on, on the list of stuff that I've been accomplishing today. Uh, it's still a good day. I'm sockless though. Well, I'm, I'm like one sock. See? One sock on, one sock off. All my socks are getting holes in them. I need to go and get some new socks. What'd you vlog about today, Troy? Holes in your socks? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. So I haven't left home. It's only a couple minutes later. Um, I received a package from Amazon and I have been, I mean, I do get stuff from Amazon, so I never know on what it is or who it's coming from or where, what, I, I, I'm oblivious to a lot of stuff. Had a package sent to me and I opened it. Ah, this is Todd. Oh my goodness. So there are, oh my gosh, 106 inch selfie stick. I've already taken it out of the package. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Here's my hand. There's the end of the stick. I'm touching my closet door. Look. I'm touching the available small female, okay, that sounds bad, uh, 1031 t-shirt right there. Look at that, oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that, oh, putting this over the edge of a cliff is gonna be awesome. <laughs> or, or way up in the air, it'll almost be like I have a drone. That's cool. And it's lightweight, so taking it hiking won't be a big deal at all. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you, Todd. And then I also saw the other thing in the box too that I'm adding to the, the, the box. Can you guys see how far away you are now? <laughs> oh my goodness, I can disappear around the wall. Wow. And hopefully because of image stabilization, once, once it starts doing this, hopefully it won't be that shaky for you guys. Wow, it's like a fishing pole. It's amazing. I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but the GoPro also has a voice recognition on it to where I can tell it to take a picture. As long as there's not too much wind, that would be an awesome idea. And now I'm vlogging from the truck. <laughs> uh, we just had a uh, last minute PM appointment, uh, somebody's uh, vehicle was blowing white smoke out the tailpipe and then it stopped running and it won't restart. He thinks it's a fuel issue. Well, I can always, I can I can tell you that. And you guys are like, oh, that's a blown head gasket. Yep, most likely. So we're gonna go and we're gonna sniff test it because most of the time a blown head gasket um, occurs in the combustion to coolant passage or the leak in between the gasket there. Not always oil coolant intermix. So many people tell me, it's like, well, I don't have a blown head gasket because there's not coolant in the oil. I know, and some of you are like, what are you talking about? I'm talking about cars, y'all. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the appointment and let's get her done. Get back home and have some fun. Oh, I made it rhyme. But don't worry, I'm done. Oh, the cheese, so much cheese. So here's a funny little fact. You guys will remember, I was vlogging then. You'll remember that years ago, I used to work at a shop out in Puyallup, and I worked there for, it was not even a year. Well, the customer that I'm going to, their car is stuck behind where I used to work. <laughs> in fact, also, that Burger King is one that we used to pass every day that I used to give the scary Burger King update of the day. It was going through some remodeling and they had black plastic out. Oh, oh. Alrighty, they had uh, black plastic out there. And so of course, you know, black plastic being synonymous with 
hunters and haunting and haunted houses and yard haunts, it was now scary. So you have Burger King scary update of the day. It's done now. It's done. It's been done for a while. Oh, wow. That was a quick light. How rude. One hour later. So I stopped by to see my old boss. And like I said, I only, I worked there for like, I think it was like 10 months. Uh, maybe 10 months and some, some days, which by the way, a little known fun fact, that is the shortest job that I have had in the last, uh, at least 20 years, at least 20 years. So post it down in the comments, what is the shortest amount of time that you have ever worked at a single place? And that doesn't mean being transferred somewhere, that doesn't count. I mean like starting and fired, starting and laid off, starting and and just quitting post it down in the comments i want to see who's had the the quickest shortest employment <laughs> it's, it was pretty awesome it was pretty cool he's a good guy um this traffic is not good i do not miss this traffic all right guys so what have i done for the rest of the evening since the light outside has gone away i have been doing estimates some people want their oils changed <laughs> Wow, um, diesel, school buses, vans, um, and there, there's, in all honesty, there's not much uh, money in oil changes, but um, it, it could be a day, so that, that could be a good thing. It just takes a while because sourcing the parts when you're not used to working on diesels and school buses and stuff like that, oh my goodness. Okay, speaking of oh my goodness, I can't remember whose comments we read last night and whose we didn't. And I'm just going to go through these. I've already marked on these, who I'm going, the ones I'm going to read. These I have not finished yet. It's kind of like when you uh, forget or don't do all of your homework, and you're trying to do it in class as you go along. You know, discussing your homework. Okay, so here we go. Bradley Wood. Oh, dearest Troy, you got me twice. First with the Father's Day card, and then the hug with your dad. They were good tears, though. I'm a big old softy. Love you guys. Peace, love, and happiness to you and yours. Well, thank you. And it got me too. Uh, I, I guess I, I guess I'm an emotional guy. I mean, I know when to be strong, and I know when to uh, I know when to hold them. I know when to fold them. I know when to walk away, and I know when to run. Hey, Emerald Gypsy Heart video production by Shay. Uh, love watching you guys interact. You should contact Robin Hood to see if they will sponsor the vlogs. Wouldn't that be nice? What is it? Get it. Get it. Can I pee on it? No, you can't pee on it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, speaking of that, guess who comes this weekend? Are you ready to see Coda? Do you want to see Coda? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Okay. Joseph Blau, technology messing up, or do you have a ghost that doesn't want you to comment on comments? That is the question. I swear that this house is haunted, but you'd never know. It. Um... Dude, did you hear that? I hope that the audio can adjust and I hope that I can go back and play that again. I swear that this house is haunted, but you'd never know. Um, um, if I had hairs on my back anymore, they'd be standing up. I've got goosebumps. I've got total goosebumps right now. Holy cow. Okay, uh, Bama Quest. Whoa, that got emotionally heavy for a few. He will love having these videos to look back on when he is older. One day he will show his kids. That's what I'm hoping. And it's all about memories. Um, it's, it, it's about memories and it's about learning and it's about life and it's about just, I don't know, trying to make each day the best and trying to make sure that the hairs don't tickle your nose. That's important too. The one and only Lindsay Bird. Deep conversations with six-year-olds were a common Father's Day theme. Ollie started crying about missing our cat, Normal we put down last year and missing Aunt Sarah. He asked about my dad, who has passed away, and man, that few minutes was tough and an important memory made. These kids keep us on our toes. You are an awesome dad and handled his insights well. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate that, Lindsay. Nick Gerald, have you ever eaten fried green tomatoes, Troy? Not to my recollection. Really? All right. 
Nicole Flynn, I love the praying mantis bug. They are honestly my favorite. I remember my grandma telling me when I was about Phoenix's age that if you find a praying mantis on your window of your house, that means good luck. Well, I've got a lot of good luck sitting out there because there are praying mantises all over my windows. And it's kind of confusing because I already said at the beginning of COC that I can't remember whose I've read and whose, I've ha whose I haven't. I think we only read officially two comments, but I had done all of these last night, so it feels like total deja vu to me. Oh, so I want to say thank you for uh, wishing me a happy Father's Day, and I hope that everybody else that's a father had a happy Father's Day. I think I, I said that last night. Uh, Patrick R. McConnell, I was watching your time with your dad in the yard, all of you together. Wow, I got to spend time with my kids today over lunch. I was blessed as you are making memories. Absolutely. Tyler Bocamp, did we read your comment yesterday that you said that you're glad to see that you are close with your father and that you are in Phoenix's life? My parents are divorced and I'm not close with my father, even with numerous attempts to have a relationship with him. Uh, um, I'm sorry. That sucks. But you've done your job and you've reached out and, you know, that, that's that's all you can do. Man, one of these days I'm going to paper cut my face with that going by. And I think that we touched on this yesterday that uh, you can see exactly where the tandems on the trailer are. The one that's that burnt. Uh, Matt uh, Dorickson said, uh, break fire, drums got hot and started the inferno. And several other of you gave uh, ideas like that also. So thank you for that. Emerald Gypsy Art. The summer before last we were coming back from Yakima and we saw a hay trailer on fire going down the road. Very scary. I would imagine so. My goodness. Mr. Broach, about the song I wear my sunglasses at night, a joke. Wife, why do you wear your sunglasses at night? Husband, because when you are cool, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Da -da -da. Tony Fredrickson, I lost my dad in 98. I recently found a letter I mailed him when I was 30. He kept it. Oh my gosh, memories made. On another note, you are so going to cry at your wedding. I absolutely love you guys. Uh, well, we love you too, and you are absolutely right. I am probably going to ball like a baby, and uh, Angie, uh, Angie will probably cry too. Um, and I'm in the process of writing my own wedding vows, so every time I hear something or see something I, I, that I, I want to include in that, I will make a note of it, and then I will go through and make them all one cohesive uh, statement, and... Yeah, and I will probably be so incohesive in attempting to say them. It'll be a mess, but it'll be awesome. And we can't wait. Uh, Nicole Flynn, I'm sorry I missed the last couple of vlogs. My tablet decided to take a crush on me, and my phone really sucks, and I need to get it upgraded. But I'm back. <laughs> Good. And you say, I got... My beautiful picture of you and Angie today. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, wasn't that... I've got the ones for this next month here too. Oh, so you... That's right. I sent I sent the funny one out this month. We've got the more serious one that'll be out this month here. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's one of the tiers on uh, Patreon. Um, anyway, you say, Oh my gosh, Troy, that's such a beautiful card that you got your dad. Actually made me get emotional. And when you mention the owl... I meant to tell you that last weekend I went to get a Starbucks at one of the casinos and they had some big event going on in downtown Reno and that the gentleman that owns Hoot Owl from the Harry Potter movies. See, I might have included this in yesterday's vlog because I know that I talked about this yesterday. But I'm not sure if I, I probably wasn't recording when it happened. I got to pet him and hold him. The owl, not the man who owns the owl. Well, I don't think so. He is friendly and absolutely beautiful. We're still talking about the owl, right? I have a couple of pictures from a few years ago. I'll have to find them, and when I do, I will post it on the Beyond 1031 fan page. Please do that. Um, and it is so cool. I didn't know that owls lived that long. The owl from Harry Potter. That is amazing. It's almost like meeting a celebrity like Benji or Old, Old Yeller or something like that. Mr. Ed. Carrie Ann Olsen, you're talking about your recent surgery. Um, I hope that you... Uh, Everything continues to heal better than what it sounds like it is healing. Ooh, it's the last one. Judy Hart, I always like funny cards for my folks. My mom was not that appreciative of my sense of humor, which always made me laugh. 
And final comment, uh, Brand 22, they have a Hot Wheels uh, that you can put on a GoPro. Whoa. That's pretty, well, you said that's pretty cool, but I'm saying that's pretty cool too. Okay, that's it. We are caught up with COC. Happy haunting. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below and click the thumbs up button, share this link, and um, yeah, go check out Robin Hood and Patreon, and then we've got merchandise too, and, and we've got the Beyond 1031 Facebook page. If you guys haven't joined that, you can join that too, to where we expand on the vlog. So if we talk about something in the vlog and somebody posts a picture, and I get like a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, stuff on there, so I go through and I select what I think everybody wants to see, and then I post, I I allow it, and then you guys see it, and then everybody goes ha 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 he he he, and we're one big family. Sleep deprivation, it's great. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.